Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 features. Java 8 came up with a lot of enhanced feature and these are these are the features which we are going to discuss uh, you uh, in series of video tutorial. So Java 8 was released in 18th March 2014. It is the most awaited and is a major feature release of Java programming language. Some of the important Java 8 features are like default and static methods in interfaces. Second feature was added in Java 8 functional interface and lambda expression. Then third point we have will see how for each loop works in Java 8. Fourth point there were some uh, new feature introduced in the Java 8 that was Java Stream API and that shows how we can work on the bulk data operation on collection. Now there were uh, drastic uh, changes in the Java Time API. So that's the fifth point. And sixth point collection API there were some collection API improvements. Then seventh concurrency API improvements. Then eighth point we have a Java IO improvements and finally we'll see miscellaneous code API improvements. So these are the things we are going to cover in the some series of video tutorials. So let's start with the first uh, important feature that is default and static methods in interfaces. Uh, from Java 8 onwards interfaces can uh, come up with a static or default method. So we can use default or a static keyword to create interfaces with method implementation. Uh, Java 8 uses default and static uh, methods heavily in collection API and default methods are added so that our code remains, remains backward compatible. So here is the eclipse and uh, this eclipse is the this is a mark Mars eclipse Mars and this eclipse supports for Java 8 so one thing I want to tell you how will come to know whether your eclipse supports Java 8 or not first of all you need to install to work with Java 8 you need to install JDK 8 a software on your machine and after that you will you can open your Eclipse and go to the preferences and here you can check for the, the Java compiler and here is the Java compiler and in drop down if you are uh, this drop down is showing J J Java compiler 1.8 means your Eclipse is supporting Java 8 so that way you can check and I know that it, Mars supports you Java 8 now I'm going to create a project and there I can show you uh, from Java 8 onwards we can add uh, method definition as well as a static method uh, in interface itself so I would create a project with name uh, something is called default default and static method in interface this is my project name now click on the next and click on the finish so this is the project I have created now let's create an interface uh, in package com dot infotech dot model or you can say com dot infotech dot my interface something like this and interface name I'm going to give my interface so this is my interface and here I'm going to define a method def instead of declaring a method we can define a method in interface itself so if you want to define a method body itself 
or you can define uh, if you want to define a method then you need to uh, use default keyword before a method signature so we can write like default and if you press control tab then Eclipse will support you to specify default keyword then public public keys that is optional even you can leave this public key now public void and I would say this may suppose my method returns list of student object and I would say sort sort students is the method name and this student accepts list of a student object and I would say is to list and here we are going to define a method press control shift o for organize import so import list from java.util and this class we don't have so we need to create it with a package in com.infotech.model and this class package name and sorry create a class and here package name and you can give a super class and a student class right so no problem and package name we can specify com.infotech.model and this class suppose contains a field like a string a private string name and second property will have integer age only for simplicity I'm going to add only two fields and I'll I want to initialize this property using construct itself so go to the resource and select the option generate constructors using fields so I would generate a constructor and let's generate a getters for these two properties so sel select getters and click on ok <coughs> sorry now implementation of this method is still pending so let's have a let's we can use collections utility class right collection has a method is called sort so I'm going to use this sort method which demands you to supply list so we are going to pass this list and finally we are going to return this list so basically sorted list will be returned and when you pass this list of object make sure that your student object implements comparable interface so implements comparable and here you can pass a student and uh, as your student class implements comparable so you need to override unimplemented method that is compared to and here we can use this dot name dot compared to method which is available in the string itself and you can say get name here directly you can access name field or you can access by using getter method get name you can access as well so this method is basically responsible to sort the student object based on the name property now so here you are calling the short method uh, which is available in the collection ut collections utility class so this list will be sorted and same list sorted list will be returned to the caller so this interface contains a one method definition right and this method is called default method once you put the default keyword before the method name then you can define method method in interface itself and this is the one of the feature have been added in java, java 8 now uh, we can add a static method as well so uh, a static public again public keyword is optional over here and I would say void and method name I'm going to specify greet and this guy is expecting name as argument and here simply I'm 
just printing a message welcome and this name I'm going to print so and this static keyword either you can write in the beginning of the method or after public keyword also you can write so this way we can define a static method in interface as well now third method even I'm going to declare one more method which is a abstract so this is an interface so of course we can declare a abstract method and this is not the new feature uh, this feature is from beginning itself interface can contains abstract method but before the java 8 interface uh, was containing only abstract method so default method i mean me, using default keyword you can define a method in inter interface itself and you can define also a static method in uh, interface itself these two feature came uh, came in java 8 now we are going to declare a method definition itself by using abstract keyword and method name I'm going to specify uh, return type is integer itself and I will say get max now and this method is accepting list of integer So I would say int list. Now uh, right now uh, we need to create a class which will implement this interface. So uh, implementer class has to implement this method only. And implementing if implementation class implementation class wants to override default method then of course uh, implementer class will be able to override default method but implementation cl implementer class cannot override a static method because a static is related to class not and uh, not not it's not related to the instance so you cannot override a static method that that concept came from the uh, previous java version itself so now i'm going to uh, create my implementer class so my interface impl is the package name and here I'm going to create my class itself and this class is going to interface uh, implement my interface so here this interface contains abstract method so implementer implementer has to implement this abstract method right so here I'm going to again use a utility class is called collections uh, collection has a uh, as a API is called mean which accepts collection elements so uh, our list interface implement, uh, implements collection so this list you can pass over here and you'll get the mean elements and mean elements is going to return by this API uh, if you call mean method on collection utility class then that returns you minimum elements in this collection so directly this element you can write in the return statement itself but i have broken into two lines for better understanding now so now i am going to create a client program so client program package name i am going to give as com dot info take dot client and client program client test and this client will have a main method and from here as we know that we cannot create instance of an interface but of course we can create a reference of uh, interface so I have just created a reference of this interface and I'm going to assign a object of its implementer so implementer of this interface is my class so I'm going to assign it now using this interface we can call its default method and that is nothing but the um, right this is a default method right this definition we have written in method uh, interface itself now 
this is asking me to send the list of 